In the middle of Manhattan, where everything is expensive and expensive, there is a small park. This park is surrounded by the building forest. It's Bryan Park. Bryan Park is free of charge. Bryan Park was formerly called Reservoir Square, but was renamed Bryan Park in 1884 in honor of William Curran Bryant. I'm sure he was a great man, that's why his name was left for us who are next generation. But actually, I did not know the name of Brian. It came from a historical public figure who actually lived in New York City in the past. In addition, I can easily guess that he was a very influential public figure who could embed his name more than 100 years after he died as the name of the park. So if you look at William Bryant's achievement, he is not only a romantic poet, but also a long-time editor and civic reformer of the New York Evening Post. That is why his name remained. I easily guess he was an insider and celebrity who was respected by the public in that era. He mainly left poems about nature and death, but it was difficult for me actually. But anyway, the name of the poems, Thanatopsis, Waterfalls, To a Cloud, The Yellow Violet, a little about what he wrote, Thanatopsis by William Cullen Bryant. To him who in the love of nature holds communion with her visual forms, she speaks of various languages for his care hours. She had a voice of greatness and a smile, an eloquence of beauty, and she glided into his dark musing with a mild and healing sympathy that's still away. The title is about death. It's hard, so let's stop reading it. An overall story of it is people and people's life in harmony with nature, with the perpetuity of the cosmic cycle. People say it's a great poem, but I'm far from literature to understand. William Bryant was said to have given a lot of advice at the time in New York's urban planning state, including Central Park. He said that if we don't build a park this big now, in 100 years, New York will need a psychiatric hospital the same size. It is amazing that an influential person like him contributed to establishment of the park, which is helpful to future generations. I deeply thank him as a person who sometimes goes to Bryan Park and enjoys it. When New York planned the park at the time, it also faced tremendous opposition. Maybe it's because parks are for the public, not a means of investment by capitalists. Let's see what happened in the past. All the way back in 1853, the New York State Assembly passed a bill to create a park in the middle of Manhattan and used it for the public purpose. In my opinion, it seemed to have a long history, whether it is a trivial place or a building, especially in USA. So it is so amazing that Brian Park, which I often see while passing by, was a place that historically deserved to appear in history books. Because there are a lot more neighborhood parks with a little history and tradition. Back to Brian Park. This park contains a magnificent history. If visitors know uh, its long history of Bryan Park, they might feel that Bryan Park is a historical site, not just a simple park. 
There are some surprise Brian Park history. It was designed as a popular space by the governor of the United States in 1686. From 1823 to 1840, it was also called Potter's Field. Why was it called Potter's Field? Potter's Field is a pretty famous word. Matthew 27 verse 7. They brought a potter's field to discuss and bury stranger. It is said that the potter's field referred to a place where the potters dig mud, so it is filled with trenches and holes to bury stranger conveniently. A barrier ground for New Yorkers who could not afford more formal accommodations or it was used as a cemetery for the poor. There was a little surprise that Bryan Park, which is currently in a festival mood all year around, had a period of time as a cemetery for the city poor and the deaths of unknown people. This park contained a little sad history in the past. I imagine that if I use a time machine and can go back to the past to Polar Fields era. As a person who came from abroad, I'd have been buried in a Polar Field when I died after being classified as an unknown person, maybe. In New York, there are many parks which were a cemetery before. During the 19th century, people claimed that they could see blue fog hanging over the park at night due to a gruesome steam of the remains underground. It seems like upper rumors do not fit on Bryan Park because the body underneath were moved to World Iceland in the East River. So there are highly likely no remnant of human remains here anymore because Borel's field was transferred first into a reservoir for the citizens in New York. But it used to be a cemetery obviously and if the number of corpses were immeasurable so I wonder if the reconstruction team could gather all the remains and move them perfectly from the cemetery. I guess there might be a small part of someone's remains left somewhere deep in the park. Although it's over 100 years past already, if there is reincarnation in there, they have already reincarnated but I want to pray for their soul who was buried at the time when I visit Brian Park every time. The history of the park began in 1847 when it was later called the Legible Square after Porter's Field. At this time, it was not named by legal name, but people call it that. Still, the park is a park, so if you look at the history of the park alone, still more than 150 years of history, long history. In the 1860s, the square was used for military training 
And finally, in 1884, it was renamed Bryan Park to honor the Bryant. In 1970, Bryan Park was called by Needle Park, where was a time when it was considered a dangerous area where drug dealers, prostitutes, and vagrants lived, where there were insufficient amenities and the number of people who managed it. Then there was a um, consciousness that it should not be left as it is, so it was changed into a positive place, a leisure place for citizens due to the expansion of convenient facilities conducted from 1979 to 1983. At first glance, I thought Bryan Park was a modern park, so I didn't know it had such a long history like this. So far, just a quick look at Bryan Park history. Now it's time for the current Bryan Park. There are many performers, especially in the summer. In the summer, you can often see performers like various operas and musicals on the special stage. The grass in Bryan Park looks super green and there are many people who just sit on the grass or sit on a mat. It looks fantastic. On especially sunny days, some people on the grass get suntanned too. Ice rink in winter is free, but have to pay to rent a skate or locker. I've never tried skating so far because I am not sure if I can skate properly. But when I see people who enjoy skating with their friends or family from outside of Link, uh, they look very happy. The skating rink is open for two months during winter time. In addition, there are many holiday markets during the months of winter. So it seems like on energetic festival street during winter. The restroom is located at the intersection of Street Park, 42nd and the library, but I've never been there. I heard it's clean, plus I walked by, I saw an outdoor temporary coin toilet on 41st street, but it looks a little uncomfortable. In my case, normally I don't come to Bryan Park only for the purpose of visiting park. I often pass by this Bryan Park when I visit the library or grocery market around here. Let's check some review. It's a park in the heart of New York, surrounded by tall buildings. You can visit there when you go to New York Public Library or La Capella Center. Subway is at the corner of the park and very easy to get to this park. There are many restaurants around here. I recommend to visit this park when you are in New York City. And another review. This place is a pretty good place if you want to relax or do whatever. There is sitting everywhere and small shop in various places to buy some snacks. Since it is right near Times Square, there are many restaurants and attractions nearby also. What makes this park even more appealing are their seasonal and daily events, which happen almost every day. The last time I went there, a jazz band performed, which plays some good music. There are also movie night, book and movie club, and other interactive events. Okay, it's done. Thank you so much.